Mount Etna, a supervolcano beneath Naples, and the growing unease under the Mediterranean Sea the low. The Mediterranean looks calm, from above blue, ancient, deceptively serene, but beneath Italy, the earth is restless. As 2026 unfolds, scientists across Europe are watching Italy with mounting concern, not because of a single eruption, but because of a convergence of volcanic signals rarely seen acting in parallel. From the towering cone of Mount Etna to the densely populated caldera of Campi Flegrei and onward into the dark volcanic scars hidden beneath the Mediterranean seabed, the planet's internal pressure appears to be shifting. This is not panic. It is vigilance. The Open Wound Mount Etna never truly sleeps. It breathes. In recent weeks, Etna has continued a pattern of persistent eruptive behavior. Lava fountains bursting from summit craters, fissures opening along its flanks, and deep magma pulses detected kilometers below the surface. To the public, these eruptions appear familiar, almost routine. To volcanologists, they are data-rich warnings. Seismic tremor levels beneath Etna remain elevated. Ground deformation maps reveal subtle but persistent inflation, the mountain swelling as magma accumulates in underground reservoirs. Gas emissions fluctuate sharply, suggesting changes in pressure and magma chemistry. But the most unsettling signal lies not at the summit, it lies on Etna's eastern flank. That entire sector of the volcano is slowly sliding toward the sea. For years, underwater sensors have confirmed that parts of Etna are creeping seaward by centimeters per year. This movement is driven by gravity, lubricated by magma intrusions, and shaped by ancient collapse scars buried beneath younger lava. Scientists stress this is not an imminent catastrophe yet, but the physics are undeniable. Large volcanic edifices can fail, and when they do, the consequences can extend far beyond the volcano itself. A sudden flank collapse could displace enormous volumes of material into the Mediterranean raising the specter, however remote, of regional tsunamis. It is a low probability scenario, but one taken seriously enough to justify constant monitoring. Etna, for all its fire, is the visible threat. The greater danger may be the one most people cannot see. Campi Flagre, the invisible giant. West of Naples lies a landscape that looks harmless. Towns, ports, cafes, playgrounds. Beneath them is Campi Flegre, one of the most dangerous volcanic systems on Earth. This is not a mountain. It is a supervolcano. Campi Flegre's caldera stretches more than 12 kilometers across, much of it submerged beneath the sea. Its last major eruption, thousands of years ago, reshaped southern Italy. Today, it sits beneath millions of people, and it is stirring. For decades, the ground here has been rising, a phenomenon known as Bradycism. Roads crack. Buildings tilt. Harbor walls lift out of the water. Instruments record relentless uplift sometimes accelerating, sometimes slowing, but never fully stopping. At the same time, swarms of earthquakes ripple through the crust. Most are small, too weak to cause damage, but they are numerous, frequent, and shallow. Each quake is a fracture opening, a pressure adjustment, a reminder that the system is alive. Gas emissions tell the same story. 
carbon dioxide and sulfur compounds seep from the ground, changing chemistry, temperature, and flow rates. These gases are fingerprints of deep processes, superheated fluids, pressurized reservoirs, and possibly magma, edging closer to zones where eruption becomes possible. Scientists are careful with their language. They do not predict dates. They do not use the word imminent. But they agree on one point. Compi Flegre is in a state of unrest, and unrest in a supervolcano is never ignored. Beneath the Mediterranean, the hidden connections. Beyond land, the Mediterranean itself conceals another layer of uncertainty. The seafloor south of Italy is dotted with submarine volcanoes, fractured crust, and hydrothermal systems, remnants of past eruptions and ongoing tectonic tension. Though largely invisible, these structures interact with regional stress fields and magma pathways. Researchers increasingly suspect that volcanic systems do not operate in isolation. Changes in one region can alter stress distributions elsewhere. Magma movement beneath Etna, pressure changes at Campi Flegre, and tectonic adjustments under the sea may all be parts of a larger geodynamic conversation occurring deep within the Earth. This does not mean a chain reaction is inevitable. But it does mean that Italy sits atop a complex, interconnected volcanic environment, one that requires constant observation and humility in the face of uncertainty. Why science is worried but not alarmed? The concern among scientists is not based on fear. It is based on patterns. Persistent magma recharge beneath Etna. Accelerating uplift and seismicity at Campi Flegrei. Ongoing deformation beneath coastal and submarine regions. None of these signals alone means disaster. Together, they paint a picture of a region under evolving stress. Modern science has never been better equipped to watch these systems. Satellites measure ground motion down to millimeters. Seismic networks detect quakes too small for humans to feel. Gas sensors analyze volcanic breath in real time. Supercomputers model scenarios that once existed only in theory. And yet, volcanology remains an imperfect science. Earth does not follow schedules. 